<laughs> you never told us, Paula. Whatever happened to Ben? Well, we had our problems, one of which was a son from a previous marriage. You didn't get along with his son? No, we got along fine. That was the problem. He was 22 years old, and he kept calling me and asking me out. Whoa, Paula, you devil. <laughs> You're not going out with him, are you? Of course not. I'm looking for a much younger guy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying, excuse me. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. This is my husband, Cliff. This is Deborah, this is Sari, and this is Elena. All right. Hi, Cliff. Nice to meet you. Thank you. So, where, where are the, the men? In the kitchen cooking biscuits? <laughs> <laughs> No, so far you're the only man here. Well, what happened to everybody else? Ted had a family emergency. What happened? His cousin came up with two tickets for tonight's Knicks game. <laughs> Joel stayed with the baby. What about Roger? He chickened out because he didn't finish the book. <laughs> well, we don't need to put up with that deadbeat, do we? No. <laughs> I think that this book, it, like, dares you to be intimate with the thematic premise. I agree, but structurally, it pushes you away. I have to say, I have the same problem. Well, it's different than last week's book. True. I mean, although they're both written in second person. <laughs> Too many contemporary novels are written that way. Really? Second person novels are usually more expressive to me. Mm. Women think so. Would you listen yes. to us? Now, we're completely leaving Cliff out. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm enjoying myself. 